You want the experience, comic culture, and sales. Streaming live daily to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Hey, everybody. It's me, Elias, and I'm here back with lots of lovely books. We had a ton of great collections come in this week. I'm really excited to show you guys like three or four really nice collections. I got Silver Age. I got Bronze Age. I got Modern Age. Let's get into it. There's some great stuff I want to show you guys today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fat Jack's Comic Crypt in Philadelphia, live on the experience right now. Hope everyone is having a lovely weekend. I got a lot of great books to show you guys today. Everybody say hi to Zach. Um, as you guys come in, please say hello. Please let us know what books you're looking for. I got lots of cool stuff that I think people will be interested in. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to be back here um, after last week was St. Patrick's Day. Um, we had a bit of a slower show. But um, that's all right, because I got lots of good stuff to show you guys today. Please, if you're going to claim anything, type claim and the issue title and number. Um, that is how I will be able to know that you guys are definitely interested in claiming that issue. Um, and when you claim something, please just fill out the form um, so that we can track, you know, the purchases here and make sure that we get that stuff out to you. Shipping is nine dollars. If you guys purchase a hundred dollars or more of product shipping will be free hey zanin how you doing um what else we take paypal payments at fjc mike at comcast.net all right angle this way a tiny bit i'm gonna put away my order forms for May, and I'm going to get into some stuff. Uh, this is a hot topic find, actually. I know it's shameful. Hot topic has a couple cool comic shirts. Um, ASM, what issue? 141. Thank you, Zanin. Jeff, how you doing? All right, as people are filing in, I'm just going to rattle off some newer incentives real quick. Uh, I'm going to keep these in alphabetical order, otherwise I'm going to be driven crazy. Batman Superman World's Finest number 25. Big 2-5 on this amazing, consistent DC book. My favorite DC book right now. This is uh, the tale of the first um, meeting of Lex Luthor and Joker. A very fun issue. I caught up on my reading. Uh, Hot Topic does still exist, Jason. Yes, it does. Um but uh, yes, this is a one-shot story, but it's a really fun one. Um, this is the 1 in 25 incentive variant by Christian Ward. Christian Ward is a very, very nice painting artist. Really enjoy his stuff. This is going to be a near mint minus copy for just $14.99. I got Sinister Sons number two. This is a 1 in 25 incentive by Edwin Galmon. This is a near mint minus copy. For $12.99. Suicide Squad Dream Team. This is uh, building into the uh, Suicide Squad's, or sorry, Amanda Waller's mission to take down the Justice League. Um, number one here you can jump into. This is a 1 in 25 incentive by Gleb Melnikov. Um, Ear Mint Minus for $14.99. And finally, if you guys haven't been reading Wonder Woman, what are you doing? Tom King. Fine on all cylinders on a really, really enjoyable Wonder Woman book. This is a bit of a, a breather issue after a very intense six-issue arc. Issue 7, 1 in 25 incentive by Jorge Molina. This is going to be a near-mint minus copy for $12.99. All right. I'm going to get into the good stuff, if that's okay. Okay. 
anyone is looking to complete their anniversary cover collection, I have New Mutants number 45 right here. This is going to be a very fine near mint copy. All right, this is a beautiful copy right here. We are asking eight bucks for this. Direct edition, Black Spidey on the cover. Uh, Magic looking a little uh, sleep deprived here, not going to lie. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you're into those anniversary covers, I have people coming in here asking just for those specifically. So, boom, eight bucks. I also have some new stuff. I know so there's some glare, um, but I do have some new stuff on the wall since we've last been here at the show. So real quick. So you know what's behind me. Batgirl number 12. Looking like a very fine plus to very fine near mint copy. Yeah, you know, you're very, you're very right. But he doesn't usually draw his eyes like this, so it really threw me off. But you're very correct. That is definitely Barry Windsor Smith. She just she looks she looks unwell to me. <laughs> Uh, background number 12, very fine plus to very fine near mint. We are asking 50 bucks for this. This is a hot cover book right here. And I also still got, or I got another, I should say. Jamil, how you doing? Long time no see. Uh, we have issue three of Ultimate um, Comics, Ultimate, All New Spider-Man. Miles' first solo uh, issue or series, excuse me. Very fine plus for twenty bucks. Everything else I've already had up here. But as always, please ask any questions about anything that I've shown or have behind me. All that. Let's jump into some Secret Wars real quick. I got the new stand edition of Secret Wars number two. Very fine minus for 13 bucks. And I got the direct edition. Very fine plus for just eight bucks. Number six, newsstand. Fine minus just five bucks. And guys, on any of these older books, Please let me know if you want me to open them up and flip through. I'm happy to show you guys the interiors. You know, make sure that you know what the pages are looking like, what the centerfold looks like, all that good stuff. Um, but these are my personal assessments of them when I, you know, give these grades. Um, this one, you know, I, I call calling it a fine minus. It's definitely got some wear on it. It's got some covered creases, some uh, some spine ticks um, up and down for sure. But anyway, just five bucks for that copy. I gotta sit. I don't know why I'm not sitting. Um, issue nine of Secret Wars. This is a direct edition. I'm calling this a fine slash very fine for just five bucks. I mean, peanuts are still up for grabs. <laughs> New stand. Find minus for four bucks. I have issue 10, newsstand edition, fine plus for 10 bucks. I think this had some like MCU hype behind it at one point or something, but this one's got a lot of spine ticks, so I call it, I'm calling it a fine plus, 10 bucks. Direct edition, fine slash very fine, also 10 bucks. I guess the grade, grade kind of brought it up to be comparable to the new stand in that case. Finally, I got issue 12, um, new stand, uh, definitely lower grade. There was some stuff that I can't see that I didn't like about this initially. I think there was some spine roll, but anyway, I'm calling this a very good slash fine copy for five bucks. Everybody in the chat, what have you guys been reading? What have you guys been enjoying? What have you guys been watching? Let me know. 
Ask them if they see 97. Well, I haven't. Well, I want to know if they have because they seen culture. Uh, Jamil, I have pretty sure that those are all the ones I have. Uh, da, da, da. Two, six, seven. I have, I have actually, I have two and six actually. <laughs> Fred, what got you into the ultimate train? I didn't think you were reading any, uh, any modern books. I was surprised when, when your wife came in. Uh, Jamil, I have newsstand and direct copies of issue two. You want, you just want both? You just want everything I got? All right. I was going to say the direct is very fine plus for eight. The news is very fine minus for 13. Crimson Terror, I do have a lot of hip-hop variants. I will show you them in just a second. And Jamil, this was a uh, fine minus for five on issue six. All right, Jamil, I will add those to your bag. We're going to go look at hip-hop variants. Um, Zach, I need um, paper bags, please. And yeah. I need... Uh, yeah, just paper bags. Uh, hip hop variants. I have a Miss Marvel number one. Very good, plus for 10 bucks. It's got some cover wear. Invincible Iron Man number one. Fine plus for 10 bucks. Spider Woman number one. Very fine for 10 bucks. And I got even more in here. I'm going to pull out. I got Cage for 10 bucks. These are higher grades. These are like very fine pluses to very fine near miss. I got Jessica Jones one for 10 bucks. Hey, Ken. I got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one for 10 bucks. But yes, I do have hip hop variants. If you're still. Interest, or if you're still there, let me know um, if there are any particular ones you're looking for. I'm just flipping through this box real quick to see if I have any more. As I know, I did. They're just a little spread out in the new arrivals bins. No, th uh, those are for Jamil. I just needed um, paper bags from you, and I'll, I'll write that on the, uh, the bag. I'm likely out. Someone on some copy and read it before finding out it was a mini. I'm not a Hickman guy, so this surprised me. Yeah, you know, for me personally, um, I didn't love Ultimate Invasion itself. I enjoyed, I'm enjoying like the, the Ultimate stuff that's been happening past that, but it just felt like a strange detour for me. But that's just personal opinion. Old Man Logan won. I got lots of different copies of these. This is a very fine copy for 25 um, but I have different grades of the old man Logan a force one very fine for 14.99 uh, I like this one a lot rocket raccoon and Groot very fine for 20 bucks and these are all number ones that's really the great thing about these is you can actually jump in and read these All right, we're going to go back to the desk as there is no word on those. So I'm going to get back to my older batch. Incredible Hulk, issue 250. I have this at a fine slash very fine. This is definitely in better shape. And again, I'm happy to show off stuff if people want me to open up the books. Um, we're asking 25 bucks for this beautiful issue right here. Claim Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Perfect. Um, do I have Venom or Devil Dinosaur? At the moment, I do not. Um, but the hip-hop variants that we've been uh, getting have been uh, through digging out of our back stock and uh, stuff like that. So if I find them, I will definitely keep you tuned, uh, keep you in the loop. Um, but yes, I will uh, add the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to the bag for you for now. 
And folks, you're also free to build out boxes with us if you don't want to, um, you know, uh, pay for stuff right away. We can build out um, boxes of stuff for you. Oh, and sorry, Zach, could you grab me Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one hip hop variant? I think it was in the... The second box on the left, like inwards. Jason, you can claim Hulk 250. You sure can. And thank you, Crimson Terror. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what? <laughs> hip hop variant. Agents of Shield number one. It has Colson on the cover. Is Dan Hip the name of the guy I'm thinking? Dan Hip? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Who does the like little goofy cartoon? Scotty Young? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's Dan Hip? I don't know. I just feel like his name should be <laughs> what Dan. What are you Hip. talking about? Oh Is there God. a Dan something? A Dan H something in comics? Is there a Dan H something in comics? <laughs> Dan. I'm sorry. It's just, something. It's really funny. That just got me. I don't know. I'm sorry. Dan something. I'm telling you. Jason, this is going in your bag. And Jason, while you're here claiming, <laughs> what are you on about? Um, Jason, while you're here claiming, I'm going to show <laughs> Dan Helifano. Um, I'm going to show off some books that Jason voiced interest in to me over the social medias. So I am giving him first right of refusal on the following books and I am just gonna write uh, somebody's name Jason so I got a lot of J's I got Jamil I got Jason all right Jason Jason has first right of refusal on these I have tank girl number one complete with the cards you're calling this a very good slash fine, very good plus. It's a low grade copy, right? On the lower end, but complete with cards. Cards are still in here. We are asking 45 bucks for this. And Jason has first right of refusal on this and the next three books. I guess I, I should have called his attention further. I, I'm sure he's like a few feet away from his computer. It'll catch up with them. Uh, Captain America 163. Claim. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Cap 163. First Serpent Squad. Not Serpent Society, but a more tight-knit group. The Serpent Squad. Uh, this is a really fun group here. And I think Eel is actually in the group, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway... Five bucks. Five bucks for Mr. Jason. Please claim or forever hold your peace. This is definitely a lower grade copy. I don't know why I didn't write it on there. Claim. All right, cool. I'm going to put the best one for last, Jason. All right. Next up for Jason, Marvel Team Up Annual Number 1. 40 bucks on this book. Oh, there was a grade on the back of the book. I'm forgetting. Jeff helped. Jeff graded these. Very fine minus slash very fine on this book. 40 bucks. Clam. All right. And finally, for Mr. Jason, Clam, <laughs> we have a very lovely recalled comic right here, guys. This is very fine near mint recalled beer bottle edition of Action Comics number 869 for a hundred buckaroos. And this will go to Mr. Jason. Thank you very much, sir. We've had a lot of uh, DC recalls coming here recently. Still got those all-star Batman, Superman, sorry, Batman, Robin, Boy Wonder 10s. Still got those reclaimed. This is going to Jason. Thank you very much. All right. Let's keep it rolling. You got to look at it real close. Yeah, exactly. 
All right, I got a low grade copy of Amazing Spider Man number 267. Uh, atrocious spine roll, <laughs> but if you're looking to complete. <laughs> If you're looking to complete um, an Amazing Spider-Man run, this is just a buck. One buck. Amazing Spider-Man number 342, very fine plus for five bucks. Uber. Mighty Thor number 366, first cover appearance of Throg. I love Throg. Very fine plus, 10 bucks. Very fine plus, 10 bucks. Come on, get your throg, get your throg. Brainiac party. Claim Spider-Man 342. All right, Jason, we appreciate you. Uh, this was 267. This was a low-grade copy. Besides the spine roll, I mean, it's not terrible, but it, it is an unfortunate spine roll. Like it, can you tell? It's like an it's like an entire inch right there of just spine. <laughs> We're only asking a dollar for it, though. So your call. All right, appreciate the claim. Um, Art Hunter, right? I'll, uh, I'll drop that in your box shortly. All right, here's some cool Alien and Predator books. Perfect, I'll drop that. I try, I try. I don't have the greatest memory, but I try. All right, Mr. Hunter, that will go in your subscribe, subscribe box. Aliens vs. Predator, guys. These are some really cool books, and this is a beautiful Mike Mignola cover. Perfect. We'll see you later this week. Mike Mignola on Aliens vs. Predator number zero. Zero issue. This is a very fine plus copy for 10 bucks. We're asking 10 bucks on this. Get a good look, guys. Really fun book. And I also have number one. Very fine near mint for 10 bucks. So you get them both. They are each 10 bucks. Aliens versus Predator, number zero and number one. It's going away. All right. How about Predator number two from the 1989 series? From Dark Horse this is a very fine near mint copy for just five bucks. Just five bucks. I wish that worked. It does not, though. Wondering if I can angle down just a tad. Yeah, I'll get some stands over the over the break because I do have to figure out another way to display while I uh, move on. Predator number three. From the same series this is a very fine plus copy for seven bucks. This is a little bit harder to find by itself on eBay sold, but I did my best to price it out. If you guys get a bunch of stuff, I'm trying to work out some deals. All right, Predator two and three. All right, how about some low grade copies of Uncanny X Men? I got 118 and 119. These got some water damage on them, guys. So they are lower grade copies. Uh, you know, VG, low grade. Uh, I'm calling them VGs. But uh, this is 118. I'm a big Sunfire fan, so I really like this cover. VG for 10 bucks. Just 10 bucks. But I'm open to offers. Again, there is some unfortunate water damage on the center of the cover. And some on the back as well. What appeals to you about Sunfire? His costume. The Japanese national His power one. set. Yeah, I've always loved his costumes. I cosplay. Nerd. Yeah, I used to cosplay. 
You used to cosplay? And a good slash very good copy of 119. Also for 10 bucks. Again, these got some water damage on them, so they are lower grades. Open to offers on these books. I'm not over you cosplay. Do you have pictures? You didn't know about that? No. Oh. Do you have pictures? I don't know. I'd have to look real hard. I bet you my mom's camera does. <laughs> I want to see them. Who did you do the most? Duke's not in here, but I'm still going to put this up. Who did I? Uh, Moon Knight. I mean, I, I did like I had two different Moon Knight costumes. Um, a classic look and then Marvel Now look with the black and white armor. Huh? I actually do Emma cosplays. Oh? I can't tell like, if you're joking. I look just like I have second printing of Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man number one. Now, apparently this is a bigger ticket item. Very hard to find a second printing of this number one. This is 150 bucks. 150 bucks for this book right here. And I mean, this is in beautiful shape. Oh my God. Yeah, this is like a near mint, to be honest. Same in Twitch cosplay coming soon. That's funny. 150 bucks we're asking on this second printing here, guys. If Duke doesn't have this, I feel like he would claim it. But, uh, oh well. Jason, if you can, I don't know if you can speak for Duke on this. Do you think he would be interested in this? Because if not, I'm going to put it on the wall and then anybody can grab it. But I want to give him the, the shot at it because he's a, a very loyal customer. All right. Ghost Rider number 63 from 1981. Fine minus copy. Fine minus copy. It's got a lot of cover creases. We we're asking just five bucks. Just five bucks. Direct edition. Ghost Rider 75. Introducing Steel Wind. This was very confusing to price, to be honest. Like people were some people were paying way too much for this. But anyway, this is a very fine minus copy. We're asking 13 bucks. 13 bucks. Steel Wind looks like she has her own motorcycle, so warring motorcycles right there. Alright, Zanin, I don't know. If I showed you these lowest lanes or not, uh, well, Zayden, are you still in the house? Oh yeah, no, I didn't show you these because I showed you, I believe I showed you 80, 81, and 103 already, and you said you had those, but I had a couple more come in, you know, low grades, but I had a couple more come in. That if you were interested, I would give you a shot at those. I'll move on from the from the lowest lanes until Zanin pops back to his screen. I want to give him a shot at those. All right, what else is good, guys? What else? Dune 2, still haven't seen it. X-Men 97, still haven't seen it. Now that I'm up on my books, though, three weeks worth of books the past two days, um, I will be watching. There you are, Zayn. I will be watching X Men '97 tonight. Hopefully, is it just two episodes out right now? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Zayn, I have issue 31, low grade, and I'm just saying low grade because you know spine split. Missing, uh, not missing staple, but it looks like it was restapled. It's low grade. Just let me know if you're interested in it. I'm not going to ask a lot for it. I mean, I have five bucks on it, but it's, it's, it's a real low grade. Lois Lane, 31. And 94. 94, I have a set of VG. No spine split. Everything is holding together on this book for five bucks. <laughs> Dune 2 not missing anything is a very hot take. I've heard nothing but rave reviews about that movie. Dune 2 is three hours long. When I went, I had to pee 20 minutes in. There was almost a lot of water on Arrakis for my... <laughs> 94. There we go, Zayden. That is for you. 
I knew we would find one. <laughs> I'll take the other one. All right. Thank you. Early issue. Yeah. Real early. Is it full? Yes. Please. What do I do with the other stuff? Just alphabetize within that box for now. <laughs> okay, cool. Tales to Astonish, guys. And I just have a couple books that need to be dropped in subscriber bins when you get a second deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Zane. I like that. Tales to Astonish, number 68. Good plus centerfold is detached. But I mean, this is some 1965 Kirby, guys. This is some really, really good stuff. Um, we are asking 25 bucks for this book. Okay, with a cup of coffee in the big time sends the macho. Oh, yeah! See, this is... I know there's a huge comic fan and wrestling uh, fan overlap, but I'm not... I'm on the opposite side of the Venn diagram. I know nothing about wrestling. So... I'm sorry that I do not understand that reference. I apologize. 25 bucks on this issue. Please give us some offers. Uh, Avengers Forever, number nine. This is just in the collection. Nothing crazy on this. Uh, this is from the first volume of Avengers Forever. Uh, lower grade, uh, like a fine minus. Again, I keep forgetting that Jeff grades them on the back like that. I'm going to going to take some getting used to. Two bucks. XO Manamor, number one. New York Comic Con 2023 exclusive foil. It looks like they're calling it an iridescent limited edition. This is signed by Liam Sharp. And uh, there's not a lot of listings on this on eBay sold, but this is what people were getting for. People were getting 125 bucks for this book. This is indeed signed, and if no one claims it now, this will be hitting our signed glass display. 125. All right. We're going to keep it moving, folks. Really? You're an ex are you an Exo Mana War fan, Jason? I had no idea. All right, well, I mean, I appreciate the claim. I'm not gonna not gonna refute it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> get it, <laughs> get it unsigned. I'm gonna take take a magic eraser to it. Get the get the signature off. That's hilarious. People aren't. People aren't fans of Exo Man Award. Corey, um, I didn't get an email back from you. I'm just gonna show you um, the the trade in person, and I think uh, we have some more. Uh, now that I see you're here, I'll grab a couple more trades over the break that I that I found. But this is the hour of the dragon one. You did have it. Okay, no problem. I will um I will see what else I got as far as Conan trades are concerned. We just uh, Jeff just did a run to Jersey and grabbed a lot more trades, so I'm gonna see if there were any in that batch. Excited to read the new ones. Alien books are pretty good. New uh Exo Man of War. Right, yeah. It looks cool. And Exo Man of War has always looked cool to me. I just never I guess knew where to jump in. Exo Man of War. Russell Dodderman variants, guys. These are so much fun. I love, I love. This is like, this is what a good variant cover looks like. Let's put it like that. They should have made these all 1 in 25s, to be honest, and I would not have been mad. Like, these are just so much fun. Russell Dodderman is such a clean yet original, unique artist. This is She-Hulk number four. Very fine, near mint. For eight bucks. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. The 
this is what a variant cover should look like. It's just it shows off the history of the character in such a fun way. X Lives of Wolverine number five. Very uh, sorry, near mint. This is just a near mint copy for seven bucks. Just seven bucks. The great. Oh, okay. He went through this one. Yeah, he's talking about these Russell Dodderman covers. I also love them. I want the one with Emma Frost. Go figure. Um, we have another Russell Dodderman variant cover. We have Psylocke for Hellions number 13. This is very fine near mint. Um, I really like this one. I'm a big Psylocke fan. Um, both of them, Betsy Braddock and Kano. I, I think this is a Betsy cover, but this one... That's Kanon because she has the black hair, right? Or is it just not pink hair, Ninja Betsy? I don't know. But um, yeah, I really like this one. Hellions was a great series. Fantastic. One of the best of the Krakoan era. Uh, next up, we have Avengers Forever number one variant edition for all the Wanda fans out there from the MCU. Uh, we got Very Fine Near Mint. <clears throat> um, I find her interesting in the red hair era, but she's supposed to be Romani with the dark curls. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Wanda. Avengers Forever, Wanda. number one. I said that. This is a great place. This is a great book to jump into. I'm a huge fan of this book. Um, it's just a really fun multiverse trek through Avengers characters. Um, so you can read this as well as admire the cover. That's all. All right, you done with these? Yeah. Want to drop one in the new arrivals box? This is going to last name Hunter. And this is going to last name Foreman in the sub boxes. Thank you so much. Sorry, y'all. I had to run to the bathroom. Uh, this is The Dreaming Waking Hours number one. Variant cover, near mint, for ten bucks. Hard to find too much on this, uh, as far as eBay sold listings go. But asking ten bucks, I'm open to offers though. From the Sandman universe. All right, what else? What else? Miracle Man number one. Very good slash fine. Unfortunately, is a um, lower grade one. Five bucks. Five bucks. Ah. Five bucks. I'm just going to... Um, Avoid any old books until after the break. I got to spread out the good stuff a little bit. Spider-Man 2, number one. This was uh, a free comic book day book uh, that was very hard to, to find when it first came out. Hype has died down a bit, but still a nice book. Um, a nice Todd Knock cover here. This is a very fine near mint copy. For 10 bucks. All right. And that will be the final book that I will show before we take our very quick break. Please don't go anywhere. Make two just pops in. We'll be right back with a lot, lot more great books. See you in a few.
Order Battle Quest Comics at your local comic shop today. Hey everybody, this is for Mr. Hunter. This is going to hit your box right now. This is a really fun book, great claim, and I still have not finished this game. Very unfortunate, but true. All right, thank you very much for the claims, guys. Really appreciate it. Make two, hope you've been well. Hope everyone's having a lovely weekend so far. Uh, we have had a really great batch of collections come in in this past week alone, and um, just appreciate you guys tuning in and appreciate your claims very much. So I got lots of more good stuff to show you guys. But I'm going to make you wait just a moment longer. Um, because I'm going to show you a few Deadpool modern books. Just got done cutting grass. All right. I kind of don't miss that I, you know I, the one thing i don't miss about moving out of a, a, a you know an actual home that i own is i don't have to cut the grass in my apartment gta 6 well but who really plays the story for the gta games you tell me if i'm wrong but i feel like everyone just wants to go online and just mess with stuff deadpool team up um is a series that i collected when i was a bit younger i thought they were really just a ton of fun. Really uh, unusual team-ups for Deadpool. Um, so, yeah, I was a big fan. Anyway, this is Deadpool team-up 890 for 5 bucks. This is a, excuse me, very fine near-mint copy. <laughs> if you hire someone, you know, I'm, I'm, cut, I'm cutting costs. Sorry. Uh, five bucks like deep cuts like this Deadpool team up with it the living colossus like that's just so much fun 895 Deadpool team up 895 very fine near mint for five bucks you miss cutting your lawn 90 bucks. Jeez Louise. <laughs> big yard. Big money. That sounds like a reality TV show. Big yard, big money. 150. Jeez Louise. Deadpool team up 896. Very fine near mint for five bucks. Another deep cut, U.S. Ace. Even deeper cut, Deadpool team up in uh, 898. He teams up with the Zapata brothers. Zapata brothers. Very fine. 
plus copy for five bucks. <laughs> every week they cut it. Well, I, I, at least I hope not during the winter. But every week is seems a bit often, though. Last team up book is eight ninety nine. Um, they they did just tack on team up onto the um, already existing legacy numbering that was just on the main Deadpool book. I still don't truly know how they hit eight hundred issues. I think there was some there was some joke that I missed there. Um, but anyway, very fine near mint for five bucks. Teaming up with Hercules. This is a really fun Umberto Ramos cover. I just like this cover a lot. Every week is average? I don't know. Every other, I mean, unless your lawn really is that wild out of control, every week just seems like a lot. Anyway, this culminates in Deadpool 900. Very fine near mint copy for eight bucks. Eight bucks. Can you believe it? This would be a $10 book. If Marvel released it now, four ninety nine was the cover. We're just asking eight bucks for it, but just from the heft of this, I know Marvel would put nine ninety nine on this book these days. Deadpool one thousand, very fine near mint, also for eight bucks. Another hefty issue, eight bucks. Deadpool, Games of Death, one shot. One shot right here is going to be a very fine near mint copy for 10 bucks. <laughs> and I didn't feel old before talking about this. This is doing it. Deadpool kills Deadpool number four. Just the fourth issue is what this person had in their collection. Very fine near mint for five bucks. And finally, Deadpool Massacre number one. <laughs> this was uh, a reprint of sorts before it was a decimal issue it was like Deadpool 3.1 from this volume but anyway this is his own one shot of massacre poorly translated to English because it was originally in Spanish this is a very fine near mint copy for 10 bucks and those are going to all have to hit our back issue bins oh you know what before I get back into the older books, guys, sorry for the noise, I want to show you guys something really cool that I'm very passionate about. And that is Immortal Hulk. Immortal Hulk in my opinion, is one of the greatest modern era comic runs of all time. I have an entire complete set here of Immortal Hulk, zero to 50, and some one shots that I'm going to bundle in for 200 bucks. This is all high grade copies, very fine near mint at the lowest Okay, these are all high-grade copies of a fantastic story. Now, there are some variant covers in here. So to make up for that, I'm throwing in a few one-shots. All right. I got Immortal Hulk one-shot from The King in Black. I got Incredible Hulk Last Call. Well, shipping would be free. Shipping would be free because you would have passed the $100 mark. Immortal Hulk Flatline. And Immortal Hulk Threshing Place. All right. 
those are the one shots. Now I'm going to really quickly show off the main run. I have issue. All right, Corey. Corey, Corey said enough said. Zach, Corey said enough said. He's cla he's claiming it. Corey, that's what I, I'm, I. You just made my day. You just made my day. I love this run. I love this run. Do, do you want to see which ones are variants? Thank you, Make. I really appreciate that. We're trying to switch it up a little bit, but being on here allows me to um, to to walk around a bit. Yes, Crimson Terror, you can do Miss Marvel and Invincible Iron Man. All right, Corey doesn't even want to see the vi I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Oh, my God. Made my day, man. I can't wait to, to bother you and ask you how you liked it. Um, Miss Marvel and Invincible Iron Man, I will grab those for you. I only had one uh, copy of Invincible Iron Man, like a mid-grade. So that'll go in your bag, and then um, uh, Miss Mar uh, Miss Marvel. I think I have different um, grade points. Do you want the highest grade, Crimson? Just want to confirm that with you before I go and grab that. <laughs> okay. This is the entire bundle that you will be receiving, Mr. Rust. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to me <laughs> that you have claimed this awesome bundle. All right. Holy smokes is right. And I do like your name. Elias's Comic Oasis. I think that's a lot of fun. All right. That is for Mr. Corey Rust. I got to shut up about it. I said I would shut up. All right. Sorry. Uh, Justice League of America. <laughs> and Corey, uh, just fill out the form. Uh, I think you might have already sent me a form before, but just in case, please fill out a form. And that'll, uh, that'll go out in the next day or two. Justice League number 139. Giant issue, Neil Adams cover. Very fine minus. All right. For 10 bucks. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. I forgot to grab those stands. Dang. Maybe I have some back here. Question mark? I, think. Yeah. I do have stands back here. Unofficial title, real fans, real fans know. Just so they can just peek out a little bit. But I'm glad we could find something for Corey that wasn't Conan. Of course, I'll still keep an eye out for those, Corey. But, uh... <laughs> Shut up, Jason. Shut up. Shut up. House of Mystery. This would usually be a very, very expensive book, but this is uh, a centerfold detached copy. Also a lot of spine ticks. Um, House of Mystery number 175. I put 15 bucks on it. Low grade. If this was higher grade, it would go for a lot more. Anyway, really fun book. Let's see how many can I fit? on here this this is like a little there's a little bit of intrigue behind it you know because you can't can't quite see it <laughs> stop it stop it <laughs> stop it right now all right there a little bit of intrigue <laughs> but I, I can only do two issues at a time so these are gonna go back in the box if there's no claims on those Captain America, I got a few issues of Cap. Cap 129, VG minus for five bucks. Five bucks. 132. <laughs> That's funny. 
132. Uh, the uh, low grade. All right, there's a spine split on this one, but this is a really fun cover. We're only asking five bucks for this. Captain America 167. Uh, VG minus. VG minus for just two bucks. Two bucks. Hi, CJ. Stop by quickly to say hi, Les, and all, and hit the like. Man. Yes. Hope you're doing well, CJ. Please hit that like button if you enjoy what I'm doing here today, guys. Really appreciate it. All right. Uh, so that means I'm moving these two off. Such an ingenious design that I've come up with. <laughs> 167, just two bucks. Uh, 172, this is a higher grade book, and uh, there's some hype on this on eBay. Very fine minus for 10 bucks. This is a, a Banshee appearance, which is very interesting. But uh, Gil Kane cover. Gil Kane cover, I would say, if I had to guess. The Howl of the Banshee. You're, just, you're somewhere between Sabretooth and Banshee, but like I can't quite nail it, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Robotech Masters, number one. Uh, Near Mint Minus. Wow, this is a high-grade book right here. Only asking five bucks on it, though. Five bucks. As seen on TV. Zane and Zap, Cap 172, is part of the infamous Secret Empire storyline. So there was, I knew there was an original Secret Empire. I know there's a recent one, but that makes sense that there was there was one prior to it. Marvel loves to recycle their event uh, names. Jamil, Robotech Masters. Crimson, I just want to double check with you. Um, if you wanted the highest grade Miss Marvel copy, because I think I have two different copies. Invincible Iron Man is already going to you because I only had the one, but I just want to confirm that with you, all right? Make two. Unfortunately, I've still not watched X-Men 97. But Boo. Boo. That's what I'm saying, Jay. But luckily, I will have time to watch tonight. Richard Nixon was revealed to be the leader of the Secret Empire. Wow. Really? They did that? That's nuts. Who was writing Cap at that time, Zane? Zach, can I get um, the – just find Miss Marvel number one hip-hop variant copies in the new arrivals boxes, please. That's when he became Nomad. Nomad. That's when he became Nomad? That's okay. the reason why. We'll just see what we have. Yeah, you wish I was born. I was born in 2001, Jason. Maybe. Shut up. All right, these, Fal uh, these Cap Falcs are going away. Yeah, exactly. Steve Englehart was the writer on Cap at that time. That that lineup, David? Steve Englehart was the writer on Cap. That's about right, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> Zanin always teaches me something new. I really appreciate it. All right, uh, bye -bye. this is like Batman 118. These virgin variants drive me nuts because I have to open them up to look at what they are. Oh, yeah. yeah you it is, say hi to Zanin for me. Too. It is 118. David says hi, Zanin. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch X-Men 97 tonight, though, so don't worry. Um, Batman 118, this is a really cool virgin variant cover as an homage to Spider-Man number one. We're asking 15 bucks on this. This is a near mint copy. This is in beautiful, beautiful shape. Mm -hmm. How many? Just tell me I was born in the late 1900s. <laughs> That's brutal. Zanin says, Hi, David. Hope all is well with you. <laughs> uh, Batman 
126. Another Spider-Man homage right here. Near Mint Minus for five bucks. Just five bucks for a very fun Batman Spider-Man homage. All right. Moving on. Justice League America. Very fine minus. Jeff thought this would be hot stuff because it's an Adam Hughes cover if you're into that kind of thing. But unfortunately, all I could find on it was two bucks. Very fine minus for two bucks. Justice League of America. Sorry, Justice League America. Guest starring Justice League Europe. 31, issue 31. Issue 31. <laughs> That's one of the ones with the Dr. Fate who is a woman. Yes, that's right. Female Dr. Fate. All right, those are going away. Deathstroke number 10 from the New 52 era. Very good slash fine copy. This is a little beat up, unfortunately. But this is a Rob Liefeld cover. And Invincible Iron Man number one, please, as well. Hip hop, it's on the uh, rack. Five bucks. Five bucks. Thank you. Crimson, if you're still there, again, Invincible Iron Man is going in your bag. This is a fine plus copy for 10 bucks. Um, is it so? This is the, the only one you found in the boxes, Zach? Yeah. What grade is on that one? I have this one for VG, at a VG. Sorry for ten bucks. I think that's a little low, but unfortunately, with the black covers that we had in storage, VG. they got. It's also VG. Let me just. Sorry, just want to compare. Uh, so there was some unfortunate loss of color on those. Yeah, ultimately this one's better. Ultimately this one's better. I'm going to drop them in your bag, Crimson, but just, again, wanted to give you the option. Oh, but you know what I didn't do is I didn't write down the uh, Devil Dinosaur and what did you say? He was looking for Devil Dinosaur, Hip Hop, and something else. Something else. I should have taken a screenshot. And I don't see Lorena uh, Villa in here, but I did find Venom. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm just going to write it down on my phone because I'm going to forget. Hip Hop, Venom, and Devil Dino. Keep an eye out for those for you. Um, so you, I'm assuming you were cool with those iron, that Iron Man and Miss Marvel. I just wanted to show you that they were, you know, mid grades. Heroes Inc. presents Canon number one, Wally Wood book, um, or Wally Wood cover, excuse me. Very fine minus for four bucks. Four bucks. All right, where are my Silver Agers? I'm going to jump into these. Uh, oh, Rocket. Yes, I do still have a Rocket uh, Raccoon and Groot copy. Uh, it's 20 bucks. It's a higher grade. Say again. Rocket Raccoon. And Groot. It's like, it's their, their names are both on the cover. Number one hip hop variant. Yeah, in the New Arrivals box. All right, Zaynan. Satan will claim Heroes Inc. Four bucks. Thank you for the claim. Um, what's it called? Zach is grabbing the rocket copy for you right now. Uh, I'm going to let you guys decide. Old or new? I want to see them in the comments. Comment old if you want to see old books. I'm going to get into Silver Age. Comment new if you want to look at some newer keys. 
Lorena, hello. Um, listen, so I found I found Fight Club 2, number 1 and 10. But unfortunately, they are variant covers. If you were interested, I mean, they're high grade. They're high grade copies, right? Very fine near mint at the low end. I would ask four bucks each if you're really interested. But just just let me know. Unfortunately, there are variant covers, but this is number one and this is number ten of Fight Club Two. All right, we got two comments for old guys. Show me a little bit more. Old or new? Old or new? Let me know. Because we got it both in this box. I'm gonna put these on the stands for Lorena until she lets me know. Again, unfortunately, there are variant covers, not main covers. Maybe that's not the worst thing. For me, I'm more of a variant cover guy. All right, perfect. All right, so that'll be four bucks each for the fight clubs and throg. Great claim. Thank you very much. And please just fill out the form, Lorena, so we can get that out to you ASAP. Mix them up. I got more claims for old than new, Jason. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go old on them. Thank you, Lorena. We appreciate it. Um we're gonna have to go old on them. I got Silver Age DCs, guys. I got Silver Age DCs. David's eyes lit up. All right, let's get into it. An old versus new battle. I'm going to make the comics fight. Brave and the Bold. 67. VG minus for 15 bucks. This is a really fun Flash Batman book spine ticks everywhere <laughs> mr foreman zach has brought us rocket raccoon one for mr crimson World's finest. World's finest. 154. Good. Good. Just good. 10 bucks. 10 bucks, but I'm open to offers. I was surprised to see, though, that there people were getting 10 bucks for a low grade copy. What was what? What was what? Um, but yeah, this is funny. This is um, Kal El Jr. and Bruce Wayne Jr. are rivals, then partners in a great imaginary novel, The Sons of Superman and Batman. That's why. Before there were super sons, there were super sons. Exactly. Every they already had tried all this stuff. It just wasn't real. It was like you know, like they're saying, imaginary stories. Make two. Yes, I do have hip hop variants. These were for. Um, a, a user who had claimed these already, we were just pulling them from the boxes. Um, he claimed all these hip hop covers so we far. Have I have more, Make Two, if you're interested. We have a lot of Spider Woman and Old Man Logan. Spider Woman, Old Man Logan. Um, we still have a Miss Marvel left. We have A Force, but you know, let me know if you're interested. All right. No claims on these. These are going back in the box. Um, all right, this is a really fun one. I really like this one. I opened this up just to see what was going on. Um, and apparently, uh, Perry White is the anti Superman, they unmask him later, and they've been beefed up, um, by some formula or some ray, you know, one, one of those situations. Anyway, world's finest number 159, very good for 12 bucks. Really fun book right here. Anti-Superman and anti-Batman.
world's finest. 160. Very good slash fine for 13 bucks. I'm going to remind you guys once again that I'm happy to open up any of these older books to show you guys what they look like inside. You know, um, but these are my great assessments of these. The Fatal Forecast of Dr. Zodiac. All right, next up, Captain Marvel number 43, fine slash very fine for just five bucks. A fun Drax and Marvel battle right here. Uh, Al Milgram and Bernie Wrightson work together on this cover. That's cool. Anti hard water vapor. People got their powers in crazy ways back then. I have to do some homework on the hip hop covers, but I'm interested in the Electra one and the Public Enemy one. Oh, like the 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 homage to the hip hop, uh, the homage to Public Enemy One. Uh, make two forty-three, Captain Marvel forty-three. Come in. You see the sign? They're not coming in because of the sign. Well, that's why I didn't put it on the door. I just put it in the. But people are seeing the sign and they're walking away. Hmm. Oh well. And public enemy. I'll have to look up which one is the public enemy. But yeah, make two. Let me know. Um, you have our email. Okay. All right, you have our email. You can let us know. Oh, uh, Jamil, sorry. This was uh, just five bucks. Five bucks. It's a fine slash very fine copy for just five bucks. Crimson, you're also looking for the Deadpool one. Is that what you're saying? Anyway, these world's finest. Five bucks. Yes, five dollars for issue 43. At a fine slash very fine. Okay, you're also looking for the Deadpool. I'm making note of that. All right, claim. Thank you, Jamil. I haven't seen it. And I can't picture it for some reason. It might be a little hard to find on this. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't picture the Deadpool. Um, okay, World's Finest. All right, uh, we're up to Godzilla, King of Monsters, number two. This is a really fun Marvel book from 1977. This is a very fine minus copy for 20 bucks. And this is a Herb Trimpy cover. Trimpy cover. That's fun. When's that uh, Godzilla Kong movie coming out? Pretty soon, right? Just like that, we're up to our next break, guys. The show's almost over, but don't go anywhere because I still got plenty more amazing books to, to go. By this time in our journey, we had been on the trail of a very elusive creature for about 96 hours. But all the hard work is about to pay off. Oh, crikey, there she is. Oh, by the markings, I'd say this one's at least a 9.8. Oh, she's a real beauty, a true mint copy. Oh, this one will make a fine slab on anyone's display wall. Oh, she's a feisty one, though. Look, oh, look out, look out! Mint Hunter Comics is the place to find that mint comic you've been searching for. Mint Hunter Comics, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, part of the experience. According to a statistic that I just made up, People spend four hours a day changing the television channel. People who watch The Experience don't do that. Save yourself a ton of time by tuning into The Experience and enjoying our new original programming seven days a week. And then tell your friends. Think about the money they could save on batteries in the remote alone just by tuning into The Experience. Find out more by scanning the QR code below.
There's something for every imagination at your local comic shop. Visit ComicShopLocator.com to find a store near you. Did you know that every experience show, including some exclusive content, streams on Twitch? Check it out. Twitch.tv forward slash the underscore EXP. Or just scan that QR code. Hey everybody, Elias here from Fat Jack's Comic Crypt in Philadelphia, live on The Experience. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us for the whole show. We really appreciate it. Um, lots of great claims, lots of great books that are going to get shipped out in the next day or two. Um, please send your uh, forms in so that we can get them shipped out in a timely, efficient manner. And please send a PayPal payment to fjcmike at comcast.net at your earliest convenience. I'm going to send invoices out right after we finish the show, um, and we appreciate your timely PayPal payments so we can get those books shipped to you. Um, like I said, shipping is 9 bucks unless you have $100 or more of products, like Mr. Corey Rust does with this gigantic Immortal Hulk bundle. Um, free shipping. Free shipping. Come on. Come on. Come on. Invaders number twenty, very fine minus for ten bucks. You can tell them. Right. This is the first appearance of Union Jack Two. Union Jack Two, um, the second Union Jack. But this is a, this is a fun book. But anything you guys in particular are looking for, just let us know. Yeah, I can help you. Invaders twenty. For ten bucks. So back here. These are all like the new I don't mind at all, Jason. I don't mind at all. Jason will hopefully be bringing us some goodies from his collection for the shop to sell. Marvel Superheroes is a reprint book, but I'm sure you guys know that already. This is issue 23, reprinting an X-Men tale and a Daredevil tale. Fine slash very fine for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about these Batmans. I got some Silver Age Batmans in, like, really not terrible shape. Uh, fine on, fine grade on 176. Yeah, that's an annual book. No, it's 176. You no, know, it's an annual, 80 page giant. It's the same thing as an annual. Fine for 35 bucks. Fine for 35 bucks. Maybe I can do this. Oh, I should have gotten a third stand for that. <laughs> now I'm a floating head. Um, 35 bucks we're asking for on this one. Oh, you're out of here. All right. Yeah. Take care, David. Bye. Good to bye see you. Everyone. Batman 178. Bye, bye. Everyone say bye, David. Batman 178. VG Plus for 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Sound the air raid sirens, human missiles zeroing in on Gotham City. That's hilarious. Look at those guys. Look at them go. Uh, we're asking 25 bucks on this. We're asking 25 bucks. Make two says bye, David.
<laughs> it's about that time. Um, Batman. This is my favorite. It was hard to find uh, any at this exact grade point on eBay sold, but first Lord Deathman appearance is in Batman 180. We've had some real beater copies of this comic before, but this is a fine minus copy to my evaluation. For 40, I make two. For 40 bucks. Yeah. But 40 bucks we're asking for on this one. Lord Deathman. Really, really funny cover. Supposedly this is a Gil Kane cover. I just I saw that in some people's um, eBay descriptions, but I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe Zanin or someone can tell us. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What else? What else? Bye bye. Don't worry. It only fell like two inches. All right, Batmans are going to go away. Nobody from my Silver Age Batmans. Nobody wants Lord Deathman. Corey, again, thank you so much for the claim. Um, please just make sure that uh, we get your you know, shipping information so we can get that out to you ASAP. Um, take care. Have a lovely week. All right, they're going away. They're going away. I'll shut up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say back issue bins on these because these are a little bit more pricey. Or should I give them to new arrivals? Now nah, I'm gonna put them in the back issue bins. People who want old Batman, I feel like usually are the digging type. Fine, I'll, th I'll throw this in because I still gotta get to these ASNs. Frogman. <laughs> I couldn't tell you a thing about this book except that is it is in good plus condition and it is 50 bucks. It says number 1258, like 1258. How? For a golden age book? That's nuts. 50 bucks, good plus. Yes. Please do check out our eBay page, guys. That has been a tremendous help for us. That has been a tremendous help for the shop. Um, we have an eBay page with lots and lots and lots of active items. Um, some oddities that we're finding around the shop. You know, some weird collectibles. Uh, we're putting complete runs. It is cocaine. Okay, cool. Thank you. Appreciate the check, Zena. Um, what was I saying? Uh, some oddball collectibles. Some complete, you know, run sets of comics. We got Omnibuy. We got sealed hardcovers and sealed on and by we got trades we got uh single you know key issues we got so much good stuff <laughs> round guy round guy always cracks me up yes you did hear asm um but yes guys please give our ebay shop a visit um if you can we really appreciate it all right these are some low-grade asms all right, I got Amazing Spider-Man number 147, good plus for just five bucks, just five bucks. I got 269 BG for four bucks. And I have a personal favorite cover uh, that is ASM 270 VG Plus for just five bucks. Symbiote Spidey vs. Fire Lord is just a classic moment to me. All right. That's it. I, I, and I had one ASM earlier around guy. Um, Stop it, stop it, he's already dead. <laughs> exactly. It's hilarious. Um, I had one ASM earlier.
that uh, I could have sworn I had one left. But I sold. Did I really sell all those? All right, maybe I sold all the ASMs already. Sorry, round guy. You missed it. You missed them. Yeah, I did. 147 for Mr. Hunter. Thank you, sir. All right. Playing 269. While you're at it. You have two minutes. While you're at it, you want 270? Uh, yes, round guy, I do. Um, those have been up here for a while, though, so I didn't even think to mention them. I still got signed Todd McFarlane's with certificates of authenticity. I got green cover. I got black cover. 100 bucks, 75 bucks. Still got these awesome books. No 270? Just to spite me, you're not going to get my favorite cover? Um, 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 um. Duke's not here, so there's no point of me doing those miles. All right, so then to take us out, and Jay, let me know the programming on the experience coming up so I can let people know about that. But while we're wrapping up, I'm going to do another nice spin around the store. New end cap displays always getting rotated out to keep things interesting, guys. Anything you see, please give a shout. But yeah, we got lots of great stuff here. Um, these are a, this is a personal <laughs> picks of mine because I love my you know, DC Marvel crossover stuff. That's the spirit. We appreciate it. If you come in on Wednesday because you're a subscriber, you get 10% off, Mr. Hunter. Don't forget that. Worth doing it. And actually, you can. we're still getting the website set up for subscribers, but you can call on Wednesday. We can run your card over the phone. You get 10% off. Still want to, you know, we can still save that for you and then um, it will just mark your box as paid. Yes, make two. I have Marvel Graphic Novel number four. Sorry, I'm not used to the mirror image. Marvel Graphic Novel, blah, 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 blah. very fine plus for $34.99, so 35 bucks effectively. That did go way down, um, unfortunately, but hey, 35 bucks. It's a classic book right there. On the experience, there is Talking Shop tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 Central. Comic Collectibles at 6 Eastern, 5 Central. Devil's Advocates at 10.30 Eastern, 9.30 Central, guys. There's so much good programming to check out on the experience. Here's our number ones wall. Here's our employee picks wall that we are always adding to. Moon Knight number one, Jed McKay. What a great volume of Moon Knight, guys. Thor number one, I got a third printing and a um, variant cover. But, I mean, come on, these are these are great books. Anyway, employee picks wall with lots and lots of fun stuff. Complete Cosmic Odyssey. All that. That's right. That's right. Never too much classic ASM. Uh, our creator creations. We got to use the green tape on these, Zach. This, these are falling. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, uh, creators that we really enjoy, that customers really enjoy. We got those up there. Um, we got our loose figures. Still got plenty of classic comics, right? More loose figures. We got a lot of more t-shirts in, which is nice. 20 bucks, no tax on t-shirts. Um, what else? What else? What else? More and more cool displays. We got Turtles, G.I. Joe, Godzilla, Sonic, you know, all the good stuff. Robocop. 
more hip hops. You know, we got our new books. We just got some graded books. Just got some graded books in. Catwoman, Red Sonia, Vampirella, Detective Comics, Captain Marvel, Venom. Graded books. Oh, come on. You don't want the banana splits? 8.0 CGC for 150 bucks? What's wrong with you? Uh, but Mr. Hunter, call in on Wednesday and they can run your card over the phone. They'll still save you 10% and you'll just they'll mark your they excuse me, mark your box as paid. So you can still get that discount as a subscriber. Um, the long wall is all comics now, no more trades. We moved our trades. This is all comics, so that you can easily get previous issues for cover price instead of having to dive through the back issue bins after four weeks. So, you know, we're changing stuff around here, guys. They found a pack of magic cards from 1996, 1995, excuse me, magic homelands. They're asking eight bucks for a pack of these. This is an old magic set and a sealed pack of those is apparently very, very valuable. No problem, make two. Want to show what we got? What we do? What we got going here? You know, we're trying to change things up. Of course, Zanin. Um, We got some single Pokemon cards now. You know, stuff like that. So, again, guys, we really appreciate your support. Please follow us on social media at Fat Jack's Comic Crypt on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, on Facebook. What else did I say? Um, yeah, the One Piece card game is supposed to be very hot. Um, so, you know, follow us on social media. Um, email us at fjccshow at gmail.com for any issues you're looking for. I've been able to secure a lot of stuff, as you guys have seen, off the clock here for customers. Um, and we have communicated over social media or over email, whatever works for you guys. We just want to get those comics that you guys have been needing into your hands. Thank you so much for your support, as always, guys. Um, we will not be here next week. Um, next week is Easter. We will be closed on Easter, so we will not have a show, unfortunately. But the following week, we will be back uh, with you guys. And again, like we said, visit the eBay shop. There's a link up above in the chat. Just a lot of good stuff going on here, guys. Once again, we really appreciate your support. I hope everyone has a lovely week, and we'll see you guys next time. Join the party. Head over to our link tree to find all the links for everywhere the experience is all the time.